Hello Foamers, this is Divyashwarya, welcome back to DD Fluids. In this video tutorial, we are going to see a very rarely used and a very powerful uh, utility merge patch pair, a merge patch pair section from Blockmagic file. So we'll see how to use this section to merge two patches and we can create a single geometry from two blocks. So in the previous tutorial wherein we have created a same t-shaped geometry as you can see from the screen uh, we are going to create same geometry in this uh, tutorial but here we will use a different approach uh, we will just make two blocks and then we will merge those two blocks uh, from merge patch pair section okay so without uh, wasting much time let us begin uh, let's open our terminal first now here first i'll go into the run folder then let's copy the cavity case folder okay so now i have cavity folder in my run folder i'll go into that and as you can see i have zero constant system three basic folders and you know that our block restrict file is from system directory so i'll open that file notepad.exe then system block restrict and i'll open it so here we have scale vertices blocks edges boundary and then at the end we have merge patch pair this simple uh, sections and we already covered vertices blocks every section in our previous tutorials now here we are going to uh, create multiple blocks and then we are going to merge two blocks into one all right so in the previous tutorial we saw how to create this geometry the t-shape geometry uh, and uh, in that tutorial we we kind of used four blocks to create this geometry these four blocks uh, were separately defined into the vertices section block section and then we uh, saw the geometry and mesh in era view now in this tutorial what we'll do is we'll create just two blocks and then we will merge these two blocks into one so here we will create lower block and the upper block the lower block or bottom block is a rectangular part and the top block is a square now uh, the cavity case that we have copied and the op the block mesh dict file that we have opened is contain this type of data and it creates a block number zero as you can see on the screen we have eight vertices and same vertices are reflected on the block mesh dict then we created the block and uh, basically that's the geometry we have already in our block mesh dict now what we'll do is to define or create lower block or bottom block we need to make it rectangular geometry so this geometry will become this now this rectangular geometry uh, to create this geometry we need to change the vertices so for that i'll change it So now as you can see on the screen we have changed the vertices let's save it 
let's go back to the terminal and let's open this file into the para view so first i'll type block mesh to execute this then i'll create a dummy file then let's open it let's hit on apply button and on the screen we can see the geometry rectangular geometry now this geometry has 10 cells and that's why all the cells are rectangular so to create square uh, cells we need to change this number of cells in x direction from 20 to 60 save this Again, go back to the terminal, type block mesh, go back to the para view, reload the file. So now we have all square vertices, and this is our base geometry. Now our uh, lower block or bottom block is ready. Now we need to create one more block on the top of this. So for that, I'll again go back to the block metric file. And this block, now to this block, we need to add one more block on the top, as you can see on the screen. To create this block, block number one, we need to define eight more vertices. So what I'll do is I'll copy this vertices and paste it right below that. Now let me change this uh, vertices numbering, uh, the coordinates of this vertices. let's save this file and vertices are defined now we need to add one more block uh, here so i'll copy this entire file line and then paste it right below that now we need to change this uh, numbers vertex numbers in the hex section so i'll use same convection that we have used in the first block so i'll start from number 8 then 9 then 10 and 11 12 13 14 and 15 so this way we have defined all the vertices and blocks save this file go back to the terminal type block mesh again and in the para view let's reload this file so we have uh, this geometry it has a finer mesh in the x direction for top block let's keep it as it is for now to see the difference now uh, if i change this uh, convention or view to wireframe you can see that here we have a physical face here on the geometry So the issue with this kind of uh, meshing or uh, blocks is uh, we have uh, okay so let me first show you this so i'll uh, uncheck internal mesh i'll check just the moving wall that's the top wall of the lower block and then default faces for and you can see we have now c as you can see so these two faces actually are uh, not connected to each other and uh, these two blocks the lower block and the top block they are separate blocks so they are not connected so 
in if if you want to uh let's say uh, give a flow from this left hand side and you want two outlets one from top and one from this side so it will not go a flow will not pass through this face because there is one physical wall here and because of that uh, it will not allow the fluid flow from this block to this flow so we need to merge these two patches the lower block lower face top face of lower block and the bottom face of top block so for that i'll go into the block mesh dict file again and notice here i am still using uh, 60 cell for lower block and 60 cell for top block i am not changing it now here let us let me change or rename moving wall to uh, large and let me copy it and here i'll uh, give it small and for the small the small face will become a uh, number 8 12 13 and 9 okay so we have now defined the patches now the large and small these two patches should be uh, merge so i'll go into this section merge patch pair what i'll do is i'll add a bracket and in there i'll type large that's the master patch the bigger patch will name first and then small the smaller patch that will name it here then give uh, then save the file go back to the terminal type block mesh and go to the para view reload this file and you can see a slightly different mesh okay let me show this with uh, surface with edges now these two patches are actually uh, merged so flow will go from a uh, lower block to top block so now they are connected now to show this uh, if you can see in the mesh regions there is no small patch exist so large patch is the only patch that we have here and if i show you the large patch it's this two patch so the physical faces are these two there is no physical face is between these two blocks and one more thing you saw here is we can now create finer we can assign finer mesh to some of the block with this and uh, that's the one of the advantage of this uh, feature so if you want to create uh, and give a finer mesh to some some of the region you can use this so that was all about this merge patch pair section you can use it uh, for any uneven blocks wherein you forgot to slice or split your blocks into small 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 sections and with this we have come to the end of this tutorial uh, if you are looking for more reading material more learning material you can join my telegram channel you can subscribe to this youtube channel you can also follow me on these social media platforms stay healthy stay fit see you in the next video